What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodeView.com and in this video, we're going to add images to our app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add images to our venues, but before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeView.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books, runtime fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. And going up very soon. Check the video from a couple of days ago. We're tripling the price of membership in the new year. If you want to get the cheap price now, you just have a few days to take advantage of this. So I definitely recommend you do that now. If you want details, you can watch the video from a couple of days ago. Big announcement video on the channel. Okay, so like I said, in this video, we're going to add the ability to add an image to our venue. So we have it. We have a venue. Those venues might want to have a picture of themselves. And right here, I've just got it sort of listed here on the screen. We'll make it look nicer later on. In this video, I just want to set the stage to start to actually upload and save them to our app and do all that stuff. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So you can see if we come over here to add venue, now we have this thing where we can pick a picture and it pops it in there and then we can submit this. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other Django videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So there's a lot of moving parts to this, and it's going to take a little while to do. So let's just jump right in here and let's head over to our original directory in our settings.py file. Now, when we started this, Django 3 had just come out and Django 3 has this path lib. And in the past, we've used OS. So we could still use OS. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm going to import OS. That'll make this a lot easier than dealing with this new path lib thing. Even though now we're in version four of Django, uh, we could still just do this import OS thing. So let's come down here to the bottom of our screen here. And we've got this static URL directory. And we don't actually have any static files in our app just yet, but it's conceivable that we will at some point. But that's not what we want to focus on. We want to add a media directory. So let's go media underscore root and set that equal to forward slash media forward slash. And think of images as media files. We're going to upload them to our app itself. We're not going to upload them to a database. Now, normally, you don't generally save images in a database. In fact, most databases that are hosted online won't even let you do it. So if you try to upload an image to a Heroku database, it'll let you, but then at the end of the day, it'll purge out all those images and delete them. So generally what you do is you save those files somewhere else. And then in the database, you save the location of the image, the URL. Right? So you're saving text in the database, not the image itself. So what we're going to do, normally you would save it at a CDN like Amazon AWS or the Azure Cloud or you know somewhere like that. We're just going to save it in a directory called media in our app here. So it'll be sort of like a static file, and that's how we're going to do it. So we need that. So now we need a URL. So let's go media underscore root and set that equal to os.path.join. And we want to join the base underscore directory and set that equal to media. And this base dir, base directory, that's always defined at the top here, base directory. And the newer versions of Django, this is path. This used to be OS. That's why we're doing it OS, old school way. Still works just fine. So that's what we're going to do. So, okay, that looks good. Now, we probably don't really need it, but for good measure, let's go static files underscore durs and set that equal to a tuple. And inside of here, let's go os.path.join and do the same thing, set the base dir. But in this case, it's going to be static. And this needs a comma at the end of it since it's a, a tuple here, right? So this will just create a path to our static files. We don't really have static files yet, but we might sometime in the future. So I'll just put it in there now. So, okay, that looks good. So now anytime we upload an image, we need to be able to find the URL for that image to reference it. So in our original urls.py file in our my club website, not in the events one, right? In the original one here, we can sort of define that stuff. And up here, we need to import a couple of things. So we need from django.conf. We want to import settings, that settings file we just did. And then also from django.conf dot urls dot static, we want to import our static URL. Okay, and now down here, this is where it gets a little weird, we need to put a plus sign, and then type in static, and then set settings, 
dot media underscore URL, that URL we just defined, right? And then we need to define the document root. And we, to do that, we just go document underscore root and set that equal to settings dot media underscore root. Okay, that looks good. So what this does is basically when we upload an image, it will allow this to automatically kind of create a URL so that we can reference it later. We'll save that URL into the database and uh, this will help us uh, when we click on it or want to view the image, it'll help to create the URL that will allow us to view that image. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this file, make sure our settings.py file is saved and looking good. So now, before we go any further, we need to talk about the database. So let's head back over to events and look at our models.py file. And we've got this venue model and these are all the fields in the database for the venue. And there's no field here for image, so we're gonna have to add one, right? So we can call this anything we want. Let's call it venue underscore image. And we want to set this equal to models dot image field. Up until now, we've worked with integer field, email field, URL field, and car field. Now we're adding image field. And inside of here, we need to define a few things. So first of all, a venue may or may not have an image. And if it doesn't, that's fine. So we need to account for that. So let's say null equals true. That means, you know, hey, it doesn't have to have an image. Also blank can equal true, all right? Same deal. If, if there isn't an image, that's fine. And now we need to define where we wanna upload these images. So let's go upload underscore two and set that equal to a directory called images with a forward slash. Okay, so this images will go in our media directory. Remember we created this media directory. You'll see over here, there is no media directory in all of our files over here, but as soon as we upload an image, it will be created automatically. And inside that media file, there'll be a subdirectory called images where all of our images will be saved, right? So, okay, that's cool. Now, this is obviously a major change to the database, so we're gonna have to make a migration and push the migration. But we're dealing with images here, and we also need a library to deal with the images. And for that, we're gonna use Pillow. Now, if we run pip freeze from our terminal, I'm in my MyClub website directory, I've got my virtual environment turned on, we can see we've already got Pillow. So we must have done something in a past video to where we needed Pillow. If you didn't, for some reason, you need to install it. That's just pip install Pillow. And it's gonna tell me, hey, you've already got it, no big deal. So, all right, we've already got Pillow. So now let's make our migration. So let's go Python manage.py make migrations, that's plural, even though we've just made one migration, it's always make migrations. And we can see, okay, we've made a migration, we've added the field venue image to venue, okay? Now we need to push that migration into the database, so python manage.py, migrate, and we've done this lots of times before. Watch the earlier videos if you don't know what I'm doing here. So, okay, we're good to go. So now, if we clear, let's run our server. So let's go python manage.py, run server, all right? And let's head back over to the website here. And let me log out and log in as admin. So now if we go to venues and add a venue, you'll notice there's still no field here to actually upload an image. So we have to do that next. But sort of interestingly enough, if we go to localhost 8000 admin and go to our venues section here and click on one of these, you notice there is a venue image field with a little thing that allows us to add an image from the admin panel. So at least we know the migration worked and things are sort of set up and ready to go. But now we need to fix this page here in order to be able to upload images. So let's do that, head back over to our code. And there's a couple of things we're gonna need to do. First, we need to go over to our events, templates, events, add venue page. And this is the actual form right here. And we're using a Django form here, so we don't see the actual form, but this form action and method post, we need to add something else here too. We need to add an encryption type. So ENC TYPE, set that equal to, and this is gonna be multi-part forward slash form dash data. So a multi-part form data just means basically allow images, right? So, okay, we need that, so let's go ahead and save that. Now we need to go to our forms.py file, here it is. And let's come down here to our venue form, there it is. And we need to add the field that we just created, the migration form. And what was that called again? Venue underscore image. So we could just copy this, boom, pop that back in. That looks good. Now, 
we can come down here and for a label, we can, you know, add that in there. We don't want a label for it. So, okay, that looks good. And then down here for widgets, uh, we're going to leave this alone. We don't really want to define a widget for this and do the classes. We're just going to take the default thing for now. We might play around with this later. So, okay, that looks good. And let's head back over to the website and see what that did. Boom, now we have this thing. So if we go over to our views.py file, and I'm going to search for add underscore venue, and this is our add venue function, you'll see here's our form. And this is the thing we're submitting from the website, request.post. Well, we're also now dealing with files, image files, right? So in addition to request.post, we also need to deal with request.files, right? So that's really all we need to do there. So let's go ahead and save this, head back over to the website, give this one more try. So let's go to venues, add venue, and uh, Vegas pool two, <laughs> one, two, three, pool street. 89137, phone number 111-222-3333, pool.com, na at na.com, whatever. And now let's try and add a picture. There it is. Click submit. All right, that looks good. We come back here, hit reload. We see Vegas pool two. Now when we click here, we see sure enough, aha, we've got this pool image. We can click on it. This is the pool. So, all right. Okay, so that looks good, but if we come back here to venues and all venues and go to last here and click on Vegas pool two, uh oh, still no image because we need to now edit this page to allow for images. So let's head back over to our code, super easy. And see, what do we need? We want templates, events, and probably show venue. Yep, there it is, show venue. And we can come down here to the bottom and underneath here, I'm gonna put a line break and let's create an if statement because you remember, if venue dot venue underscore image, not all venues will have an image. So we don't want to put an image on everything. It'll just show a broken link, right? So let's test to make sure that it has an image and that's just going to be venue dot venue image. And let's go ahead and end our if. So now inside of here, let's look and see what this is. So let's go venue dot venue underscore image. You'll remember we're not saving the image to the database. And this is what this is. This is a database field right here. We're saving the location of the image to the database. So that's very different. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit refresh, and you'll see, uh huh, images slash pool, and then the name of the file that's been created. So that's cool, but we really want the URL, the exact URL. So we can go dot URL here, same thing, come back here, hit reload. Now we get a forward slash. Uh, you know, we're on local host, so we get a forward slash. If you uploaded this to an actual web server, you'd have probably a or an absolute path here. But okay, that's all we need. Now we can create an image tag for this thing. So image tag is just IMG SRC. This is pure HTML. And that's it. So if we go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit refresh, boom, we've got this image. And it's a big one. So we can play around with this. We can make it smaller if we want, bigger, whatever we want. Let's go with equals, I don't know, 500 or so, just to make it a little smaller, just for fun. And there we go. So that's all there is to it. So there's a lot, that's all there is to it. There was a lot of steps there, but uh, you know, a couple of configuration things in our settings.py file, we added a quick URL, modified our form for encoding multi-part form data, tweaked the form itself, migrated the database, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> we threw that, we flew through that kind of quickly, but uh, yeah, there we go. So this is just one thing, venues. Obviously you could do the same thing for events. You could do the same thing for profiles. You could do the same thing. Anytime you want to add images to your app, you could do it this way. Um, maybe in Django 4, there's a better way to do it with the new path system that they introduced in Django 3. I'll look into it, but for now this works just fine, even with Django 4 or Django 3 or Django 2. Uh, so I, I suggest doing it this way, at least for now. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codeby.com. You can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off memberships to so pages $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codeby.com and I'll see you in the next video.